Hi everyone. Today, I am going to discuss with you the features that come in the Enhanced Security Pack for the Session Smart Router. Without the Enhanced Security Pack, the Session Smart Router will still come with powerful security features, such as its Deny by Default multi hop authentication approach for zero trust security baked into the SD WAN fabric, the adaptive encryption feature that ensures your user experience is not sacrificed as a result of needless double encryption and overhead and the ability to enforce directionality and segmentation policy with a session-aware fabric that integrates secure vector routing, or SVR, with zero trust access control. The Enhanced Security Pack adds more security features to your Session Smart Router, such as URL filtering to prevent access to and from specific sites, and IDP to protect against advanced malicious attacks. These features leverage the Juniper IDP Signature Database, providing state-of-the-art protection against the most up-to-date vulnerabilities. The database contains definitions of attack objects and application signatures defined in the form of an IDP policy rule set that is updated regularly. By automatically downloading the latest definitions and application signatures, the SSR is able to provide cutting edge security solutions for your network. When discovered, you can either have your router alert you to the vulnerability or block the traffic, giving you the network protection that you need without the need to purchase additional hardware. Juniper Networks wants to meet you where you are when it comes to your network security. So the enhanced security pack for the SSR can be deployed standalone or alongside an SRX series NG firewall at your branch or data center, offering multiple layers of protection. The enhanced security pack can also be used to help you with your SASE journey, giving you protection in the branch or data center before easily offloading that traffic to an SSE such as the Juniper Secure Edge. In this video, I want to show you a demo of how the enhanced security pack for the Session Smart Router works. What you see here is the topology we are going to use for our demo. We have two different access groups, or tenants, accessing our Ubuntu server in the data center. The group on the top is our corp tenant. It does have IDP turned on, and it is not allowed to access any social media. The group on the bottom is our guest Wi-Fi tenant. It does not have IDP enabled and is allowed to access social media. The first thing I am doing here is creating an application called Internet IDP. I am using 0.0.0.0/0 so that this application will be a catch-all application. If traffic hits a session smart router and it is not headed to an application I have defined, then it will match this application. I am now going to my templates where I will set up my routing policy. Here are the two access groups I mentioned, Corp and Guest Wi-Fi. Under Application Policies, I am setting up my routing rules. Here, I am saying that the corp is allowed to access the Internet IDP application, but it has to go through the SSR's IDP to get to the Internet, and we are doing strict enforcement of our IDP rules for corp. Now I'm going to jump into the CLI and confirm that the IDP has been enabled on my SSR. Everything looks good here. Okay, now I'm going to send some nasty traffic and jump into the mist cloud to see if my SSR is alerting and blocking that traffic. We can see here that it is doing exactly that, and if I click on the vulnerability, I go to a Juniper Threat Labs page with more information about this particular vulnerability. Alright, now let's look at the URL filtering. I'm going to create an application to catch all social media traffic. As you can see here, with the Session Smart Router's URL filtering, all I have to do is go to App Category and select Social Media. You'll see that the Session Smart Router has a ton of apps and app categories already defined for you that you can just select from a list. Next, I go to my Global Application Policy section and create a rule that says that Corp is not allowed to access social media. I just want to show you how this will already get applied to my template since I made it a global rule. Now we test it out. On the right side, I am using my guest Wi-Fi, which as we saw at the beginning, is allowed to access social media. It has no problem getting to Facebook. On the left side, we see my corp network, which is blocked from accessing Facebook. So there you have it. That is the enhanced security pack, which takes your session smart router and adds NG firewall features to it. As we mentioned, this can easily be added to existing deployments with or without SRX series NG firewalls or SSEs like the Juniper Secure Edge. Thank you for watching.